If you're considering selling on Amazon or already selling on Amazon, I wanna tell you the five mistakes that every Amazon seller needs to avoid in order to keep their business from failing or shutting down their account. The first is to make sure that you set up your Amazon seller account the right way. And what I mean by the right way? First, you always wanna be 100% truthful when giving Amazon your information setting your account up. Make sure you give them your right name, your right address, and every other detail they ask you. They don't ask for a lot, just make sure that you are 100% truthful when setting up your Amazon Seller Central account. Second, when you give them that information, make sure that all of it matches up. So if you have a bank account or utility statement, make sure that the names are exactly the same and that the addresses are exactly the same as well. This will make sure that you don't have any problems going forward getting your account set up because sometimes it can be a little frustrating when Amazon says that we can't set it up right now, they don't tell you what it is. It can be something as simple as not having your middle initial of your name on one document and having it on another. So make sure that all the information flows over equally from every piece of information you give Amazon. Now, the third thing to make sure you do is to only set up one Amazon Seller Central account. Don't set up multiple Seller Central accounts. Uh, this is another issue we've seen a lot of new sellers have is that if you perhaps were trying to sell a while ago and that you decided not to and then now you wanna to sell today, you think that the right thing to do is to set up a new account, it's not. You only wanna set up one Amazon Seller Central account. The only exception would be is if you have multiple businesses. That is the exception that you're allowed to set up multiple accounts, but we always recommend that if you're going to do that, simply give Amazon a call, let them know that you're setting up another account because you have another business so that you have a record of you contacting them and letting them know that that's what's going to happen. Usually there's no problems with that, but having a paper trail whenever you're setting up a multiple or another account because of a legitimate new business will help make sure you don't have any issues. Now, the second thing you never want to do is to never buy or incentivize people to leave you reviews. Now, we all know how important reviews are on Amazon. However, in the news lately, you've probably seen that several companies are getting shut down because they were found out to be incentivizing people, basically paying them to give them positive reviews. Some of these brands were generating hundreds of millions of dollars a year for Amazon and for themselves, and Amazon didn't even blink because they found out that they were buying reviews from these large buyer groups. Now, you definitely don't wanna do that. It may seem like it's an easy way to get a few additional sales right now, but as you can see, even these big companies that are going out there that Amazon doesn't care about your size, if they find out that you're buying or incentivizing people to give you positive reviews or just give a review, they can shut you down. Now, when I talk about incentivizing, that's kind of a gray area, but think of it this way. If you're offering one of your customers anything in return for them giving you a review, whether it's positive or negative, but you're saying, if you give a review, I'll give you this, I'll give you a discount, I'll give you a coupon, or I'll give you a free product, that's incentivizing them. What you can do, and sometimes a bit of the gray area, is you can give them free things and then maybe later on ask them for a review, but you cannot tie those two things together. Eventually, Amazon will find out and it could have dramatic effects on your business. The third thing you wanna avoid is to never ever buy your own product. Even if you want to send yourself a product and you're thinking the easiest way to do that, to, tr to, to see what kind of packaging the product comes in with Amazon sends it to you, to make sure that the product, um, if you haven't seen it yet from your supplier, you wanna test do a test buy and make sure that it looks and works fine, you don't want to buy your own product. That's specifically prohibited by Amazon. It can get you into big trouble. Instead, you can create what's called a merchant fulfilled order right inside of your seller essential account for a small fee that will ship you one of your own products. Uh, it's much easier, much safer, can, and it's just as fast, but you never ever want to buy your own product. Now, the same thing holds true if you're helping other people with their businesses. So for example, here at Amazing, we work with lots of different people's businesses, so we have access to their Seller Essential accounts. If you have access to anyone else's Seller Essential account that you help with, you also do not want to buy their product as well because Amazon sees you as a part of their business, and if you are buying products, Amazon can ding you and that Seller account as well. So never buy a product from your own business or from another business that you happen to work on as well. Now, the fourth thing that you wanna avoid is not knowing your numbers before you launch a brand new product. This is one of the biggest mistakes we see new sellers do is that they get really emotionally invested in a new product. It sounds like a great product, it's exciting, it's something they enjoy, but they don't do their due diligence and work out all the numbers to make sure it's profitable and they launch it anyway. 
Now, while it's always great to enjoy and use the product that you're selling, it's just as important, if not more important, to make sure that you can make a profit with every product. Otherwise, what's the point of launching a product? You won't be able to grow a business, you just keep spending money. Now, when you look at all the different things that go into making a profit for a product, you have to look primarily at the costs involved in selling that product. And that would be the manufacturing cost, it would be the shipping cost in that product, wherever the manufacturer is, all the way to Amazon. It would be any duties and taxes that are associated with importing that product. And then there's also the Amazon fees. There's the Amazon referral fee, which is typically about 15% of every sale you make on Amazon. And then there's the Amazon FBA fee, which is the fee that Amazon charges you to pack and ship that product out to customers. So those five costs go into it. And before you ever launch a product, or actually before you even purchase that product from a supplier, you wanna make sure you calculate all those costs to make sure you can still make a profit. Now, in addition to those, you should also do an estimate of what you think the launch and advertising costs should be. Almost every product nowadays on Amazon needs to do some kind of sponsored products advertising on Amazon in order to launch and also to get sales going. So you need to make sure that you account for some sponsored product advertising on Amazon. And if you're doing any kind of cashback offers, you also want to account for those when launching a product on Amazon as well. Now, those are more, the, the cashback offers are more like a one-time fee when you're launching a product. However, uh, later on down the road, you probably don't need to worry about those, but definitely want to factor those into your launch costs as well. And then the fifth thing you wanna avoid when selling on Amazon is ordering too much inventory. Even if you're a seasoned seller, when you're trying out a new product, there's no reason to go out there and spend tens and tens of thousands of dollars on a new product. Now, personally, to me, it's not as much about how much money you're investing in a new product, it's how many units you're buying. So when we go out there and launch products, we typically spend or purchase between 500 and 1,000 units to test that product out before we know if it's gonna be a win or not. And I also know several other million dollar sellers and expert sellers who do the same thing. They don't wanna buy more than 1,000, maybe 2,000 units at the most when launching a new product. I've personally seen some people getting into this business and order five or 10,000 units because they have a lot of money to do it and they wanna make sure they never run out of inventory. The problem with that is you're putting too much at risk. So those are the five things you want to avoid when selling on Amazon. You wanna make sure you set your seller central account up the right way. You wanna make sure that you never buy nor incentivize product reviews. You wanna make sure that you never buy your own product. Uh, you wanna make sure that you know your numbers before launching a new product on Amazon. And you wanna make sure that you don't purchase too much inventory when trying out a new product on Amazon. If you keep those five things in mind and do everything else that we teach you at Amazing on how to build your own business, your chances for success will be much higher.